Yes, this is the Saturday showdown you've all been waiting for. Your regular lunchtime slice of the action from the world of professional wrestling. The main course is not to be missed. But to warm us up, let's get ringside for the first contest and alongside the man who saved you your regular seat. Thank you very much, Grapple fans. And hello and welcome to the City Hall here in St. Albans. Over to your MC right away to introduce an international middleweight contest. Here he is, Brian Crabtree. This is an international middleweight contest to be wrestled over a 20-minute duration. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Would you welcome, please, on my left from Dartford in the red corner, Hurricane Keith Hayward. <laughs> His opponent in the blue corner from Pakistan, the little prince Mohammed Alam. <laughs> and the referee from Croydon, Mr. Roy Hardy. Thank you, Brian Crabtree. And here we are then at the City Hall of St. Albans, ready to go for the first bout, which is a 20 minute duration contest. Two falls to decide it. And. Uh, the main one, of course, is the one that follows this one, the title about Danny Collins putting up his title, defending it for the third or fourth time since he won it against a Frenchman, Jacques Le Jacques, from Paris. But first, Keith Hayward versus Mohamed Alam, the Little Prince. Seconds away, commence wrestling. And here we go for the first session because there are no rounds in this uh, particular bout. 20 minutes duration contest. Two falls to decide it. The little Prince from Punjab, Pakistan, at 12 stone 8. And Keith Hayward, of course, the title holder at European but middleweight at 12 stone 6. So not much difference weight wise. And the referee in the background there, Roy Harding of Croydon. Side headlock to the Pakistani at the moment. Little Prince holding Hayward exactly where he wants him to start weakness. So side headlock this time to Hayward. Keith Hayward, known as the Hurricane from Dartford and Kent. Uh, the Olympic team in Montreal, 1976. So this is a boy that's uh, got a tremendous amateur record before turning pro. His opponent, Little Prince from Pakistan. His whole family is steeped in the boxing, and wrestling, but amateur and professional. He himself won the junior championships in Punjab, and turned pro in the 70s. He's been over here some time now. Very well-known figure in the wrestling halls up and down the country. Put on a lot of weight. Through his bodybuilding, physical culture is this man. No, the turn didn't come off, and Hayward fell for it. And he's forced into the big hammer position. Ah, nicely out, though. That's Hayward. That's typical Hayward mode. What an escape. Don't know that. A little late there. A little Prince coming in with that leg grab very, very quickly. He would reach out when he's, when he's off balance on two or three occasions. And this is a, a third occasion he's done this, and the little prince comes back with an arm roll there. He would try to counter with the head scissors. And he's out of the arm lock. 
There's the finger. No. 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 Bridge. Bridge didn't have to last. He decided to turn. But he's still got to get out of those, between those knees. Put some pressure on the feet. Ah, that's one way of doing it. Holding the legs up. But he's out, and he's got a figure four as a counter. Come on, Maybe in this preliminary bout, there's uh, time to just mention that uh, an awful lot of people seem to want to know newcomers, the uninitiated, to professional wrestling. And uh, they don't quite understand the rules of the falls and submissions. Well, the best of three falls decides the winner. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout decides the winner. And the fall constitutes a man holding his opponent's shoulder blades down on the canvas for a count of three. A submission, when his opponent gives up and decides to get out of a painful move and give away a score rather than take it anymore. And of course, knockout speaks for itself. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout, therefore, decides the winner here. A great arm roller of uh, the little prince there. It's the second time he's died. He's going to follow him up quickly with a double wrist lock. Five minutes gone. There you hear the timekeeper. Five minutes gone. Just. 15 to go now, but no sign of any score yet. And no warnings to either arm. He really rolls that arm beautifully into the arm lock again. Into a backhammer. Little Prince doing a lot of the attacking here. Left knee on the back of uh, Hayward's head. Perfectly legal to make sure it doesn't turn. Again. Now, Hayward may be showing signs of taking over a little here, starting to take a move. Oops, I said that too early. The little can still attack. No, it's not a hand. Again, side headlock cross buttock. <laughs> Hayward trying to counter that with a pinfall chance here, and very nearly making it. Remember, a two-four contest this. So they're taking a few risks at the moment. Hayward certainly got a chance then. That's the typical Hayward move, the further arm and the half Nelson from the, and the left leg, of course, completely in the great arm. Marvelous, marvelous move if you can get a submission from this. Really great move. I'd have given a long time ago, an awful lot of people would, but Little Prince doesn't seem to want to give. Taking it so far and well. Grapevine still there on that leg, now released. And it's still the Little Prince coming back with a counter move. Not bad. Side headlock again. Tried for a stranglehold, but he would turn into it. Back elbow. Oh, yes, he's waiting for him. Waiting for him, but beautifully taken. Cross press, now Prince. 
He really is doing well here. Hayward just returned from Nigeria. He was supposed to be on a week or two ago on television, but he wasn't he didn't get back in time. Oh, nice throw. Beautiful play. A fine tackle from the rear by Hayward. Now, can he bring his man over and get a further press? He's going to make him lose balance first. Yes, he's over. There's the further press. And can he hold? He's got both arms. Beautiful guy. Just nine minutes in, and Hayward, the first fall, beautifully operated. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fall of the contest goes to the red corner, Hurricane Keith Hayward. And let's have another look at that excellent move there by Hayward. He struck on a, a flying tackle, but he took his feet round the rear of the flying tackle, but it's the same move. Now all he's got to do is to make his man lose balance. It takes a long time trying it, even in slow motion. It uh, looks energetic. There it is. There it is over the top of the further shoulder press, and the Prince cannot move from there. One fall up to Haywood in nine minutes. Seconds away, second session. Here we go for the second session. And remember Haywood. Dartford can leading the little prince of Pakistan, one fall in it. A little unlucky for the prince who had been uh, attacking most of the bars. Very near the ropes. So if anybody is really in trouble, they're only going to touch the bottom rope and get the break. But neither of them have even thought of doing that. Not that type of bout, I'm delighted to say. Now there's a double arm coming over the top, beautifully over the top. Just as Hayward was reaching for a suplex there. Double arm again now. Caddy did him over the top with his head right down there. Head too low, I think, Haywards. Trying to lift. Little chance of lifting from there. Now he might. There's the turn. Cross press, Haywood. Thrown off, but headlock and strangle to Haywood again. And it's the little prince coming back. Now. Arm lever against the joint at the moment. Wanted to turn into a backhammer, couldn't make it. Headlock does, though. Side headlock again. Some good wrestling here by both men. This, uh, he would maybe be leading, but I wouldn't make a bet on him. The Pakistani wrestler is really attacking so much of the time. Ho oh, ho, reverse double leg Nelson Haywood. Now he'll never hold him down with his feet like that. Taps to breathe to a break. Double leg grab, holding press now. Can, yes, he slides out of it. Nice arm roll, beautifully operated again. He's so good at that. He's taking all the time with that. And the double wrist lock finish. And he can't quite reach that double wrist lock. The moment he's nearly there. The hand rather than the wrist. Crotch hold, slam to the Prince. It's just a week into that time. May follow it down next time. There's the backhammer he wanted earlier. Still not locked. And that's why Hayward could get out so easily. Oh. Uh, uh, pulling up by the head uh, and a slap. 
slaps him down again, an inside chop, inside hand chop, but it's the slap really that reaches the side of the face or the neck. Loses cool, especially against the referee. And we get the clutch hold of the slam. And he still doesn't follow it down. And he's standing too near. And the back shot to this one. Almost a tomahawk there. And the turn, a beautiful turn. And it's little Prince over the top for a cross press. If he can hold that left arm, he's got him. 14 minutes into this box. And it's the Little Prince back with an equalizing fall. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The equalizing fall to the Little Prince, Mohammed Alam. Well, let's have a quick look at that. It was a neat move, especially the way he started it. Let's uh, see if we can pick it up there in slow motion. Little Prince going for his man like a waist hole, turns his man over the top. Last thing he was expecting was a a cross-press follow-up, but he got it, and there he is holding quite easily for the count of three. One each, and six minutes to go. Second away for the third and final session. Oh, just under six minutes, something like that. One each, final session. Came back nicely then, the little prince. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Just five minutes left then. Well, I've never seen this uh, Muhammad Alam, the little prince, fight so hard and attack so continuously, especially against a man of Hayward's caliber. Very, very good indeed. Beautifully done. Beautifully, but uh, couldn't follow it. Three. Oh. Oh, right against the joint there. Yeah. Clutch holder Hayward this time. Sam, follow down cross press. Now can he hold? No, he can't. Pressure points the side of the neck, and there's that backhanded chop again. Not quite the tomahawk swing of uh, the old Tibor Zakash famous chop. It's a nice slam, is it? But for some reason, he won't follow. He may be sorry he didn't. Oops. Have you heard that, no doubt. <laughs> Telegraphed out a bit too much, and Hayward came over the top, and he got the crotch hold, and he gets the slam, and he gets the cross press. Unlucky little Prince still down with just uh, 16 minutes, 50 seconds into this 20-minute contest. But Hayward the winner, two falls to one. Two falls to one, Hurricane Keith Hayward. Well, that's it then. And, of course, the next on the bill, a 12-round contest for Danny Collins' European World Away title. The challenger is the Frenchman Jacques Lejac. All that after this short break. <laughs> 